Batman vs Superman is a disaster. If you've seen my initial reaction, you know this already. Now that I've taken the time to relax, I can say the same stuff I said in that video, just more coherently. This is going to be spoiler free as well, because I want Reel It In to be spoiler free. So first off, I just want to say I really wanted to give this movie a chance. I honestly believe every movie deserves a chance no matter how much hype is around it. That's why I ignore marketing for the most part. I know I've been making fun of this movie for months, but if it genuinely interested me, I would have given it a chance. Everyone walked into this movie with some sort of bias, so don't accuse me of having a bias. I was liking the movie just fine for the first few minutes or so, and then Bruce Wayne starts ascending as bats fly around him, and that's when it started to go downhill. Basically, when people started talking is when it went downhill. Because the problem is the writing, dialogue, directing, and symbolism is on the level of a film student. Of course, I go to film school, so there are people here that actually liked it. This movie is pretentious. It tries desperately to be something deep and interesting, but Zack Snyder's so ham-handed with his terrible directing, nothing works. Don't say this movie's deep. Don't say I don't have the mental capacity to understand what's going on. The script is just bad. Zack Snyder's also a terrible director of actors. And that's why every character in this movie feels like they're in a different movie. Gail Gadot acts like she's in a Marvel movie. Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill are given nothing to do but mope around. And Jesse Eisenberg is unbelievably terrible. Pretty much everyone agrees on that. The audience was constantly laughing or cringing at how awful some of the dialogue was. The movie is way too long and it's just boring because there's no life to it. There's no soul. No one has a personality, no one cracks a joke even. No one has anything interesting to say. No character has anything interesting going on internally. I would forgive everything if it had just been entertaining. They keep cutting awkwardly to scenes of Lawrence Fishburne because he's the best character in the movie. He's the only one with a sense of humor. Flight to DC tonight, couple of days there. Go. Coach, no extra leg room. Economy Plus. Coach! They keep cutting to him, literally just so he could tell a joke, and then they cut to the next scene. The scene he's in isn't even important. There's so much of this movie, I feel, that's on the cutting room floor that should be added in. But the thing is, there are scenes in this movie that could be easily cut. There's a scene on a mountain with Superman that's one of the cringiest things I've seen in years, and that so easily could have been cut out of the movie. It could have cut so many scenes out of this movie either to make it shorter, or to add scenes in that make the plot make more sense. The universe itself doesn't make much sense. And if you haven't read these comics, you'll have no idea what's going on. They never give Wonder Woman a proper introduction. She's shoved into the movie, and they never explain why she's there, or what she's doing, or what her powers are. If I'm gonna say anything I liked about this movie, I'll say, um, the music is good. It doesn't fit with the movie, but the music is good. There's a courthouse scene that's pretty good, and there's a pretty good fight between Batman and some thugs in a warehouse. And fortunately, in every other scene with Batman, he flat out murders people. I'm not big on the whole, it has to be accurate to the comics complaint, but one of the defining characteristics of Batman is that he will do anything in his power to not kill people. I know he does it sometimes in the other movies, like during car chases and stuff, they never drew much attention to it, and it just makes you go like, hey, maybe he made it. In this one, Batman liquidates people with missiles and miniguns. It's insane. I'll get to the really bad stuff later, but for now, let me just say this. This is the worst movie I've seen this year. If you want a fun superhero film, go see Deadpool. If you want a well-thought-out art film, go see The Witch. If you want to see a mainstream drama, go see 10 Cloverfield Lane. If you want to see a pretentious film student sloppily combine all three, then go see Batman vs Superman. I suggest you wait to see this on VOD, where you can get up and walk around when it gets boring. Which is like 95% of the movie. This whole franchise is a miscalculation, and it's only going to get worse and worse. I'm done with DC films in terms of seeing them in a theater. I hold some hope for the Ben Affleck Batman movie, but the rest of it, absolutely not. I'm not seeing Suicide Squad in a theater, no matter how much you want me to. I'm not seeing a Wonder Woman film in a theater, just because I don't want to make a fool of myself. This is the kind of film that makes me not want to watch a movie again. If you're going to sit there and say that a film called Batman vs Superman 
Dawn of Justice was too smart and artsy for me to understand, then go fuck yourself. <laughs>